um, with the gallery, with some other sort of emerging artists as well. We've done a good job of picking the strongest artists. <laughs> to be here. Having a studio in London which is paid for is brilliant because um, it's so difficult uh, for artists anyway. Um, and then just the kind of opportunity to meet all of the technicians and everyone and learn a bit more about painting as a medium as well as um, having the solo show and meeting all these um, people who can help, help you as an emerging artist um, just sounded like a really great prize. Really. <laughs> I'd looked at it last year and just thought it was a really interesting idea. Obviously I've always known about Winsor and Newton and Conte and such um, and being kind of a fan of their products and how they actually make things. So I thought, well, it'd be interesting to see. <laughs> Part of the reason I applied to it, I suppose, is the prize is that uh, having looked at past examples of the work and it's always it's always been a pretty high standard. It's just so exciting, I think, seeing the work on the wall because we didn't really have any idea of what work they were going to choose in the first place and be able to see like all the other shortlisted artists work as well. So it's amazing. It does actually work as a show rather than um, some sort of disparate show with just ten different artists. It's kind of... Um, you know, as if it's been curated, as if we were like a, a group or we're like a collective almost. It works really well. You know, you've got the um, piece of different size, you've got the, like the large scale paintings and the sort of smaller, more intimate drawings. Um, yeah, so it's, I really, it's really exciting to see and to see the work in person as well. We've got Liquitex, we've got Conte of Paris. Amazing. That would just be so wonderful to work with those brands. Sharing a space with such wonderful artists as well has been such an inspiration and, and, and it's, you know, it's one of the reasons why we do this, so it's, it's very enriching. We're very grateful. I think the sound is incredibly high and I was pleasantly surprised that seeing it hung in the, in the space, it's, it's, each artist has gone up two or three notches from my expectations. The climate um, at the moment in terms of financial climate for artists is particularly difficult. So I think anything that can help an emerging artist get on the next rung of the ladder, whether it's with you know, a residency, whether it's with a studio, whether it's with the support with materials, it's all incredibly important. Windsor & Newton, our flagship brand, was built on the marriage of science and art, and that is a key element that keeps us ahead of the game as a company. The Griffin Art Prize, residency built on this tradition, allowing scientists and artists to collaborate, communicate, and create together. And uh, now, without further ado, I would like to introduce Jessica Lack, freelance art writer and one of our panel of judges, who will announce the winner. Well, um, the judges and I have had a wonderful time. The exhibition looks fantastic. I have to say, we've been so excited by the work we've seen this evening. Um, obviously there always has to be just one winner, and we're very sad that that is the case. But in this case, it's Luke George and Luke George. Yeah. It's so wonderful, yeah. so exciting. Yeah, this is such a, a, an amazing uh, foundation for us to start. We just applied and we were hoping, but we never, we just finished our BA, so it's very, it's wonderful, it's just Amazing. I think, you know, also that down to it, it's such a wonderful thing that the painting and, and our art is able to speak to others, and that really is what we're looking for. You know, for the art to give someone a breakaway or a conversation or a dialogue to have back at home or, or to in front of the painting, or whatever. It's it's um, thank you for the piece. The residence is great, and of course, the exhibition at the end of it is very unusual. But on top of that. 
to be able to go to the laboratory to have the support of, of, of such great brands is, is uh, makes it a very, very good prize. I think from an artistic point of view, it's very inter interesting having two artists, especially two abstract painters, working together. And I think it will be very interesting to see in the exhibition that they will have after their residency how their work has moved on. Um, and I'm looking forward to that.